Welcome to this video on MakeCode for EV3. We will show you how to build a line following robot using two color sensor and a proportional algorithm. In this robot, we slightly modified the driving base to move to add an additional color sensor connected to port one, and also to move both of the sensors towards the center of the robot so that they are just above the dark line. The principle of a proportional controller is to compute an error. This error will be used to compute a correction on the motor trajectory. Let's start by declaring an error variable. In this case, the error is going to be the difference of brightness between the lights measured by the two sensors. Let's take a look at what it means. In math, I'm going to grab the difference and I'm also grab the block to measure the reflected light. Now I'm going to compute that. I'm going to look at the value that says that the color sensor, the value in the color sensor one minus the value of the color sensor three. So this one is called one, so important one, and this one is called three. Let's see what happens when you turn the robot. When the robot is turned this way, color sensor one is on top of the dark area. It will have a low value, let's say 10. However, color sensor three is gonna be on the bright area and will have a reflected light at let's say 100. So the error computed here is gonna be around minus 90. And if we use this as a turn ratio, well, the robot is gonna to turn to the right which is exactly what we want because it's tiered to the left. The same is true if we go the other way around. In this case, color sensor three is on top of the dark area, it's gonna be 10. Color sensor one is on top of the bright area, it's gonna be 100. The difference is gonna be 90. 90 as a turn ratio is gonna turn right. Great, now just like the single sensor controller, we're gonna create a variable called gain. Gain will allow us to control how nervous our controller is. And we're gonna start with the value of four. We're also gonna create a variable called correction or turn ratio. And we're gonna multiply the error by the gain to compute it. Finally, we're gonna use a steer motor block with the computed turn ratio to control the robot. Let's see how it works when we try it on the robot. As you can see, the robot moves, but it starts to blink a lot. And this is because our gain is too high. Let's divide the gain by two and try again. Let's see if it can handle the turns. As you're building your controller, the values of the gain will have to be tuned for your robot. 